what's popping everybody back with another video in this video we got the bad boy artist g depp sitting down with lisa evers from fox 5 ny and g depp is talking about maybe linking up with diddy to work on some music man he's saying he got almost 400 songs in the tuck in his in his notepad just ready to go all he needs is a studio if you don't know who g depp is G. Depp is a former bad boy artist that turned himself into the police for a murder that he committed in 1993. The Harlem rapper was sentenced to 15 years of life in prison in 2012, but he only did about 13 years and he's out. He just got out this year. So let's listen to Lisa talking to G. Depp about Diddy. You're telling me you got just under 400 songs that you wrote when you were inside oh. and you got a message for, for Puff Daddy right now. Exactly. So I'm saying, you know, Got a lot of songs, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for you. You know, so we can get you know some type of musical situation going. You know, it is what it is, man. We need to get this thing going, man. So you know, I let your boy, man. Find, you know, let me know some type of way to con, you know, to contact you. I mean, you know, we, we go through these joints, man. See what we're working with, man. It's, 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 it's there. And are you concerned though about he's got a, a lot on his mind with these legal issues and these cases right now? Does that worry you at all? Yeah, I know. I know he probably does. You know, have a, you know a lot of a lot of issues. You know, a lot of things to deal with. Hold your head out there. You know what I mean? You know, and um, you know, you know. Hopefully, you know, if he still does music, I know, you know, somewhere down the line, you know, maybe he'll, you know, have time for that. You know what I'm saying? All I need is a studio. You know what I mean? I mean, we could go over the. By the time I'm done, he'll probably be, you know, have everything situated. You know what I'm saying? You know, little 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 studios and. You know, however the distribution is going, you know what I mean? And we, and we get, you know what I mean? We back in business, you know what I'm saying? Ready? Yeah, so first and foremost, we got to do a shout out to Lisa. She's always getting the exclusives, sit down interviews, exclusive content without being like clickbaity and clout chasey, especially with all the Diddy allegations and Diddy stuff going on, the memes, the AI generated stuff, the rumors you know she could really did the most but she keeps it professional and she had to ask g Depp about diddy and the allegations because that's what diddy's going through right now you know his house has got raided we all know about that g Depp is just focused on getting in the studio with diddy and hoping that diddy's on you know some music stuff you know now i don't know weird stuff I'm not talking about no freak offs he's trying to get in the studio and work on some music i think it's a good thing i think diddy should definitely reach out to g Depp. I've always been a big fan of G Depp. Yeah, so if you guys aren't familiar with G Depp, especially the younger audience, man, go back and listen to Child of the Ghetto. It came out in 01. It just had the grittiness, that New York gritty sound. It's just incredible body of work man and the fact that he was like living everything he was rapping it even gave like a, a different aura to the music so if you're in the really street real street gutter new york rap definitely tap in listen to that album one of the most underrated bad boy releases in my opinion i mean it also had the hit song special delivery and if you don't remember special delivery the video was off the chain that kind of introduced the harlem shake to the world where everybody was harlem shaking i mean it was just a good time man i feel like the album didn't have a ton of hits so it didn't really do what it was supposed to do compared to other bad boy releases kind of got overlooked g Depp eventually got dropped from bad boy records but you can tell g Depp doesn't harbor any like ill feelings ill will toward toward diddy and he's trying to work man 400 songs written down he's ready to put out an album a couple albums and it was just for for nostalgia purposes alone i feel like it would be really great just to see diddy and g Depp reunite because a lot of bad boy artists have so many issues with with puff that they can't really recreate that magic they can't get in the studio with diddy because they've said too much negative things about diddy they went against diddy they it's so many interviews with them bashing diddy talk making up stories about diddy or telling the truth about what happened either way just negativity directed at diddy where you can't really ask for that favor of getting back in the studio with it now is puff in the space of making music i don't know I, I keep seeing videos of him out in miami bike riding talking to fans i mean he's outside i feel like he's not going to hide this whole summer he's going to be outside no matter how these allegations are going aside from actually being arrested i feel like he's gonna stay outside so he might as well tap in and start doing some music with g Depp and start doing music in general because that's what diddy's known for puff is still a rap mogul he's still in the music business and i just don't feel like g Depp can capture that magic of child of the ghetto and just 
his sound, I feel like only only Diddy can can bring that to life. You know, I feel like he's a bad boy artist, bad boy for life. Cause he's saying all he needs is a studio. Anybody can really reach out and, and get him in a studio. But he wants to, to link up with Puff because he knows that Puff understands what sound, what direction he wants to go in. You know, the Harlem, New York sound. It's just like, it just makes sense to me. Now, if you don't know, G-Dep did say the reason he turned himself into the cops was because the guilt of taking another person's life was like, you know, the guilt was getting, it didn't sit right in his soul and he turned himself in. But that whole situation happened back in the early 90s and Diddy probably didn't even know he had a body. Like Diddy probably didn't even know about that stuff. So I feel like that's another reason like the Diddy, the Diddy g Depp situation is way different than the Diddy Shine situation or, you know, or the Diddy Loom situation or the Diddy Danity Kane situation. The band, like it's totally different. So I feel like I don't think g Depp's harboring any ill feelings with uh, Diddy. So I think they could actually get in the studio and make something happen. Now, is this a bad time? Yeah, this is probably not the greatest time because Diddy's going through all this legal problems the feds is watching them it's not the best time but you know who knows when this is going to be resolved you know his house has got raided they're they're accusing him of everything under the sun from from trafficking to uh you name it you know so assault all type of stuff and then the youtubers the media they're just adding fuel to the fire every day it's a new diddy allegation video of something diddy did or somebody said diddy did this so this is not the best time for g-dep to be like hey yo let's make an album g-dep really doesn't have that much time he can't just wait four years to put out a put out a project or five years to put out a project he's got all these songs he wrote he's been writing for 13 years he's been locked up 13 14 years so he's ready to go and i feel like if if diddy doesn't reach out he's just gonna reach out to somebody else but I feel like for him to make the best project, linking up with Diddy would be a good would be a good look because I feel like other producers might not appreciate how good G Dep is and how how good his project was. Child of the Ghetto, like like if I'm not too familiar with your your discography and you know his his discography isn't long because he only had that one album, Child of the Ghetto. Then he got dropped from Bad Boy. So like if I'm a producer and I don't really respect what you did or I'm not familiar with what your music is. I can't really craft a good direction or sound for you. I feel like Diddy knows G Depp well enough to actually get the right producers in there, the right beat makers, the right songwriters, and craft a good album. And it would be cool to do a special delivery too. <laughs> you know, just throw that out there. It kind of seemed like, you know, he's, he just got out of prison, so it doesn't seem like he's totally in the know of all the details to the Cassie stuff. And, you know, I don't think he, like, literally he just got out. So I don't know if he's that in tune with how severe the Diddy allegations are. What do you think G Dev should do? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.